Hello you guys and welcome to my first I think this is my first ever closet purge video. I personally love watching these types of videos and I love cleaning out my closet and getting rid of things that I haven't worn in a while and making room for new things. I have this closet and I have a smaller little closet out in my bedroom and we might even go through my dresser if we're feeling really fancy, but we're gonna start here so i'm really excited about this video today i hope that you guys enjoy it and give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos to let me know and i can always make more of these i'm sure you guys know if you watch my channel but if you happen to have stumbled across this video i am going to list all of the things that i get rid of today on my depop shop which is where i resell clothing so if any of these things that i get rid of are of interest to you guys I will have them up on my Depop shop the day that I upload this video so you can just go ahead and go check everything out. Also, I didn't mention, but I'm going to be trying on things so you guys can help me decide in the comments if I should keep or sell them because I know I'm gonna have some things that I can't really decide between. So that's where you guys come in. Maybe we should just start on this side of the closet and make our way over here and then go this way. I don't really know. I've never done one of these types of videos before. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just start going through what's in this section of the closet. Okay, so right here, I have a couple hats hanging up. I love all of these three hats. I know that I wanna keep all of these. And then once we start over here, it is a little bit random. We have like a rain jacket, uh, a pair of shoes that are hanging up there, and then a bunch of belts. So I'm gonna look through this stuff really quick see if there's some things that I want to pull out. Okay, so going through that small section of belts and one pair of shoes, these are the items that I think I'm going to probably get rid of. I just personally haven't worn this belt in quite a while. I think I purchased this literally like when I was in high school at some New York little boutique. I just don't really wear it anymore. Like I said, I typically reach for black belts. So I kept all of my black belts because honestly, I wear them all the time. And then I do still like this pair of shoes. They're kind of like cute for the summer. They're this like chunky little camel shoe. But honestly, I have had these for so long that I feel like it's just... I, I wear these maybe once a year and there's other like brown shoes that I could reach for. So I feel like it's kind of time to say goodbye to them because I really don't reach for them that much. So first things, a couple of accessories, I guess you could say. We're beginning a little bit of a pile at this point. So we're starting off strong. Okay, now I'm gonna go through skirts and pants. This is most of it. I have some more summery type pieces in my other closet that will go through at the end of this video or just after this stuff, but this is most of the skirts and pants, at least um, the ones that need to be hung up, not the ones that are like in my dresser, like just casual sweatpants. So I'm just gonna start over here and I'm already seeing something that I'm really I'm not sure about I'm feeling like I should probably get rid of this because it's literally just for Christmas time Like honestly, I probably would not wear this if it wasn't Christmas I'll try this on for you guys I'm gonna start a pile of things that I want to try on and have you vote on But I'm kind of leaning towards getting rid of this just because like I said It is something that I would maybe wear once a year and that doesn't seem like something that's really worth taking up closet space I have hella black pants so I probably should have them all together, but there's like four or five pairs right here and then like four or five pairs right here. And black pants definitely are a nice basic, what I go for the most, but I'm, I'm really thinking I need to let some go. I'm definitely gonna try on these two for you guys because I have not worn either of these in quite some time. I can't decide if these pants are like cute or ugly. <laughs> Um, I did wear them the other week and I thought that they were pretty cute, but honestly, I probably only reach for them again about once a year, maybe twice a year. So I want to try them on for you guys and have you tell me. Two more pairs that are kind of like more fun festival pants, but I have so many of these that I'm really not sure I need like five or six pairs. <laughs> I literally just 
just got rid of like almost half of the pants on here to try on for you guys. Now I need you guys' help because a girl's feeling very indecisive today, clearly about a lot of my pants and skirts. All right, I don't know how great this camera angle is, but we're going to work with it. So I'm already leaning towards a no for these pants um i've had them for probably like four years and they are really cool because they have these like bandanas and these different fabrics all um embroidered they're very very low rise and they're also like too big on me now um i think i've always just worn a little bit of a belt with them but what i really don't like about these anymore is just that they're like acid wash so i honestly would totally keep these if they were more of a medium or dark wash or something or if they were just a solid denim wash but i'm not really liking the whole acid wash thing and i haven't worn these in over two years i think the last time i wore these was 2017 so i was just kind of holding on to them because they are unique but i don't even really need you guys to vote on these i mean you can if you want to but i'm gonna get rid of these i'm gonna sell them to somebody that would be more excited about them but i do still think they're a really cool unique piece it's weird that i'm talking to you guys with my head cut off we're gonna have to fix that all right i'm wearing my bralette right now because this is like a high-waisted maxi skirt and i wanted you guys to be able to see like i would wear it with a crop top not like a bralette but whatever who cares it's just what we're doing for this video i'm kind of leaning towards a no for this oh the tag sticking out i thrifted this like maybe two and a half years ago and it's kind of you guys can't see the bottom which is like the best part it's kind of just like tribally and i have liked it for a while but i don't think i wore it at all this past summer so if i haven't worn it in like at least a year i'm thinking i should just get rid of it but honestly leave me your comments down below if you think i should keep it all right once again i would not wear this bralette with this skirt it's literally just for the video so you can see the skirt without like a weird top going with it but i have had this for probably six years maybe five and i did really used to like it it's just this like lacy skirt that has these slits up the sides with this um it has shorts underneath that come with it and this is from urban and i've had it for so long but i just kind of don't feel like it's in style anymore like i always felt weird about the shorts under it once again you guys can vote on this in the comments but i'm once again leaning towards getting rid of it because i just know that i don't reach for it much anymore and it's i just had it for so long i feel like it's not totally in style anymore so for those reasons we're probably going to say goodbye. Sorry about my <laughs> candle and hydro flask that's holding open the door here. It's just chilling. But okay, so I honestly love these pants. They're like some of the most unique little like festival pants. I do feel like they're really unique and fun. So I kind of haven't worn them in a minute, but I do still feel like the flair of them is just so cool and unique. So I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on these, but I'm kind of leaning towards TV them just because I feel like they're flattering, like they fit me well, and they're really, really unique. I honestly don't remember where I purchased these. I've had them for quite some time. They're like that fun fit that I can wear and be unique at a festival, so love to hear your thoughts on these. All right, so we've got another pair of funky little printed pants however you can see behind here i have one two three pairs of those like festival trippy pants that i like more than these and i haven't reached for these in hmm, probably haven't worn them in a year or a year and a half i kind of feel like the pattern is weird how it's like literally on the part i've never really noticed that before but that's like a little bit weird that the pattern is like right here so i think i'm going to sell these okay so this is one of my many pairs of black pants that i don't feel like i need anymore um i do like them they're flattering they're like a black jigging uh, i will say i wish they were a little more high-waisted if they went up to like here i feel like i would keep them they are super comfortable and in great condition so if anyone's interested uh, i think i'm going to sell these someone else will definitely get some good use out of these they're in great condition i must say and they are really comfy but i just haven't worn them in some time okay trying on these pants i'm like they're just not flattering like they're kind of cute with the sides but i feel like i got them a little too big 
or this area is just not flattering. They make me look bigger than I do, although they are still like a cute pant. Um, but no, I am going to sell these. I have decided. No need to vote on these people. All right, on to another pair of black pants. So these ones were my favorite for quite some time because they're so like comfy and a little bit stretchy. They do fit high-waisted and they have pockets. The only thing about them, as you can probably tell, is they cut off like kind of almost a little bit too high up. These are super comfy pants and I wore them religiously for like a couple years, but I haven't reached for them recently. So I think I'm going to, <laughs> shocking, <laughs> getting rid of another pair of pants. I think I've only decided I wanted to keep one in all the pants I've tried on. But these are, yeah, these are gonna be sold for the same reasons as all the other pants. Just haven't worn them in a while. Whoever does end up purchasing these, they're super freaking comfortable. Like you won't want to take them off. They have like a little bit of stretch, like I said, and I do feel like they're really flattering like on the butt. I swear this is my last pair of black pants I'm gonna be trying on, but these are kind of cool pants because they have pearls on them. They also have a lot of lint and dog hair. <laughs> so I like how these fit high-waisted. You can belt them. And I do think they're kind of unique with like the pearls on them. Um, I just haven't worn them in a while, but I feel like I do still like them. So this is a pant that I would want you guys to vote on in the comments below. The pearl pants, you can refer to them as, as to not get confused with other black pants. If you can tell, they kind of cut off right here, so they're really easy to wear with like a booty or something. So kind of like tapered. So I tried these on and I feel like I like them more now that I tried them on. Leave me a comment down below on these pants and I will not be offended if you say that I should sell them because I'm kind of unsure about them. So, we'll love some feedback. Yeah. So this is a skirt I was telling you guys about. Once again, pretend it's with another top. <laughs> Maybe like a long sleeve top or something. But yeah, I'm just feeling like it's so Christmassy and so limiting when you can wear something like this that I do want to sell it, but it is a really cute skirt. It's like a faux red leather and it has these jewels on it from Boohoo and it's in amazing shape. Like I've probably only worn it once or twice. So it's basically in brand new condition. Okay, so that was going through most of the pants and skirts. There are a few more in my other closet. Like I said, the more summery stuff that we will go through at some point after this closet. Now I'm going to move on to here, which this is like new pieces that I haven't worn yet. So that's why they kind of stay there. So I like remember to wear them. And then this is jackets and like, sweater pieces and then this is shirts and sweaters just down it's not the greatest organization to be honest but whatever so now i'm going to go through all this stuff all the way back get out some pieces tell you guys how i'm feeling about them and then try on some things again <laughs> I used to love this when I first got it. It's like this mustard colored Patagonia sweater, but I have not worn it in probably like a year and a half. I just don't reach for it anymore. And I'm thinking that means maybe I just don't really like it that much anymore. So another thing that I have that I'm kind of indecisive about is this, which is like a drug rug. Um, and I've had this for probably three or four years and it is super comfortable. And something like this is kind of fun to wear at like festivals, like camping festivals when it gets cold at night. But honestly, once again, I just haven't like packed mine or worn mine in quite some time. I have had such a hard time deciding if I should keep this or sell this because it's so unique. I love it so much. It's this jacket from Unif. I just really, once again, like don't wear it often, but I feel like I can't get rid of it because it was so hard to find in the first place. I think I'm going to hold on to this for now, even though I don't wear it that much. It is still such a cool piece I feel like to have in my collection. And I do feel like I will wear it again at some point. All right, first jacket is the fringe number. When I try it on, I really like it. I'm like, this is cute. I love the fringe. <laughs> There's not much room to spread out here. I love the fringe arms and I do feel like it's very unique. So I'm leaning towards keeping this, but feel free to vote in the comments if you think I should not, but I'm leaning towards yes for this one. This is the fun jacket. I really like it, trying it on. I feel like it looks freaking cute. It's original. Would love to hear thoughts on this. This is what the back looks like. 
I could revamp this into my wardrobe, especially it's like a very spring jacket with the pastel. It's cuter than it was on the hanger and it's a unique piece. So would love to hear your thoughts on this. You don't have to like it just because I like it. Now we have the Patagonia mustard sweater. I'm honestly not obsessed with it. I feel like I used to like it more and I just wore it a lot. It is definitely, you know, a cute little, oh, it's a little oversized. I think I have a large in this because I wanted it to fit like over leggings and stuff. But I do still feel like it's cute. But I have so many of these like sweaters and pullovers that it's not something I'm super excited about right now. It's time to pass it on to someone that will enjoy it and wear it more than me. Here is the drug rug. It's definitely very like casual and comfy and I'm indecisive about it. I feel like I could let go of it and not miss it, but it is still like a kind of a good piece to have for like I said, like camping festivals and stuff like that. But at the same time, I could always get one in the future that maybe I like more. Well, feel free to vote on this in the comments. I do think it's like cute. So this one, I'm kind of a 50-50 on keeping it or selling it. I don't know. I want to know if you guys think these are done or if you think it's kind of cute. All right, guys. Now I'm going to move on to this big section over here, which is all tops and sweaters and some dresses actually are at the end this might be the section where i get rid of the most stuff it is a pretty large section and i feel like i just don't wear a lot of these pieces and i've just been holding on to them <laughs> This top I know I need to get rid of. It doesn't really fit me great. It doesn't look that flattering. So this guy is definitely gonna have to be sold. This is another top that I'm not feeling inspired by. I feel like I don't need to try it on. I got it like a little over a year ago maybe. It just has this little dice and it's like a cropped, slightly cropped t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. I do think it's cute, but I'm kind of like a little bit over it after having it for about a year, so I think we're gonna pass on that one. This shirt, I can never decide <laughs> if I like it. Uh, the only thing about this shirt, I mean, it is cute. It has a little rainbow and then like red collar, and I, I cut it to make it a little bit cropped. Only thing about this shirt, it's really hard to wear a bra under it because it's super thin, like the material, and, it, and it's white. So you, it's kind of hard, you can like see your bra through this shirt, but you can't really not wear a bra with this because it's so thin that your boobs are just gonna kind of look like pointy i think i'll try this on and have you guys vote on that because i always go back and forth on that piece okay this is something that kind of has sad sentimental value at this point so me and sean went to a soccer game for man city and we got these jerseys and honestly i've probably worn mine once <laughs> since the game you guys probably know i don't really care much about sports and this kind of makes me sad to look at now. It kind of just brings up the past. So I think somebody would probably be really excited about wearing this. Maybe somebody that actually likes this soccer team. So I'm going to go ahead and list this. Oh, okay. Here's another thing that I'm unsure about. And we'll try this on. It's kind of cute. Like I love the cloud print. But I've had this for probably four years. And I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't worn it in a while. This is something that i think i need to get rid of just because i've had it once again i think i've had this since like 2014 2015 and it is a cute top it's kind of like overdone like i've had it for so many years that i don't reach for it anymore i have two of the same shirt that are from forever 21 and they're these like slightly cropped bell sleeve tees the Pink one has looks like it's stayed in a little bit better condition. I think I'm gonna keep the blush one. I feel like I don't need two of the exact same shirt. Okay, this is something that I thought would be cool for like shows and festivals, concerts, but I've worn it like one time. I think it's kind of a cool top, but I haven't worn it in so long. So this is from Dolls Kill, by the way, if any of you guys are interested in that, that'll be up on the pop. Okay, this top, I think I want to sell this as well just because I have worn this a lot in the past few months and I kind of feel like I've worn it to death a little bit. <laughs> this is a really fuzzy little cropped sweater. It's super soft and comfy, so we are going to give her a listing. This is something I'm also, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, I'm not inspired. Like, it's not. I've had this um, for years and years and I did really like it when I first got it, but... I've had it for so many years, so 
that is going to get sold. That's like a cute little cropped turtleneck. It honestly looks pretty nice on. I don't even think I need to try this on. I think I'm a little bit over it. Um, I did really like this top for a long time, but I've had it for about two years and I think I've worn it a lot and I don't really reach for it a ton anymore. So guys, I'm getting rid of shit. Like I'm really going through this stuff. This is not color coordinated. Like what was I? These two colors next to each other, that does not make any sense. This is gonna move <laughs> to, I guess, wherever the other blue, yeah, the other blue shirt is. Okay. Okay, we've arrived at flannels, which I could definitely do some letting go of. This, I feel like I have to part ways with. I've had it, once again, for like five years, and it's a cropped flannel. It's from American Apparel, though. It's very, very soft, um, so. I think somebody will hopefully be excited to wear that. Just found two gray sweaters and I kind of feel like I don't need them both. So I don't know if I'm going to try these on, but maybe you guys can just vote on if you think number one gray sweater, it has a little zip up, or number two gray sweater, it's more dark and turtlenecky. Feel free to vote one, two, or neither. <laughs> for the gray sweaters. I think this, even though I've loved it over the years, it's like this tribal print poncho with the hood. I think it's time to let go of this. I've had it, literally, how many times in this video have I said, I've had it for like five years. I feel like that's like a time to part with something unless you wear it all the time. I don't, I don't know, maybe that's just for me. But if you're still wearing it a lot, hey, why the hell not? I have some pieces like that, but this is so comfy. Ugh, I don't know, I'm kind of like, I just don't wear it that much, honestly. So, we're gonna sell that. I think this is time to part with, it's, I think it's from Free People. Yeah, this is from Free People and it's this like velvet little, tank and it is really like nice it's very ni nice quality but i just i probably haven't worn this in close to two years so i think that means that it's time for her to go kind of feeling the same way about this this is another free people piece and it's like a light pink lace up kind of like hoodie dress it has pockets it's super comfy i will say though it kind of shrunk a little bit on me when i washed it or when i dried it okay two more dresses that i'm gonna try on for you guys <laughs> i have a lot that i'm about to try on but we just went through everything on this side of the closet now we're gonna have some decisions to make Okay, this is the stuff that I decided without even trying on that I'm going to get rid of and I'm not inspired by. I think this is like almost 15 things. So that is a lot. So all of this will be on my Depop. It's really heavy. I'm going to go put it down now. Okay, I'm just already thinking no for this because I haven't worn it in a while and my boobs have grown and it's making the fabric right here stretch out too much. So we have to say goodbye to this. I've already accepted it. Okay, this tank top. I like the color on me, but I have this in, I think, one other color. And maybe I'll show you guys that. And why is one of them hung up and one of them's in my drawer? That doesn't make any sense. They're the same top. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm feeling not like obsessed with it, but it is like a cute, just easy thing to throw on in the summer with like a little skirt, but I don't know. I can't decide. Cute or are we over it? Feel free to cast a vote. But this is kind of like a really short crop top. It kind of is almost feeling like a sports bra. It zips up. The little straps say super fast. I don't know. Kind of random. It's from Dolls Kill. And I did really like it when I got it, but I haven't worn it maybe more than two times since I got it. Just because, once again, it kind of feels like a bra. So it's kind of hard to find things to wear with it, so I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards a no. Okay, this is another one that I'm like, this used to be like fit like this on me, and then now it looks like a bra, and I never really wear it, so. <laughs> I don't even really know why I tried this on, because I feel like I knew. This is going to be a no for me. It is very comfy, um, but it's just very bra-like, and I would want it to be longer if i was going to keep it all right it's time for the rainbow top like i said you, i mean honestly you can't see this bra through this shirt that badly but a nude bra would be better kind of one of those shirts where i'm like could keep it could do without it and I, my life would probably be exactly the same so um cast a vote because <laughs> a bitch is really indecisive today all right my adidas cloud jersey 
Now, I've had it once again, probably since 2015, and it was like one of my favorite pieces of clothing when I first got it. I do love the clouds. I'm a big sucker for a cloud print, but I'm kind of like, have I had it for too long? Have I worn it too much? Because I haven't I haven't reached for it in a while, but it is one of those like unique pieces that I feel like I couldn't really find again if I got rid of. So could be over it, could be into it. I need opinions. <laughs> All right, so this is a little cropped sweater with a heart print on it. Um, I probably had this for like three years and it is pretty cute. It's like, I feel like it's flattering, but I, I don't know if a heart print is, you know, the most mature thing for a 25 year old woman to wear. Not that, not that that many of my clothes are super mature, but you know what I mean? Like I'm kind of like, eh, it's heart print. It's cute, but is you know, is it a little bit young for for me so um i'm leaning towards a no for this even though i mean i think it's cute but i have several sweaters and i don't feel like i go for it a lot all right so now we move on to my two flannel dilemma i have kept oh have i not kept any of them okay that's a little bit it looks like I got rid of all the flannels and I'm trying on two for you guys. So I feel like I should at least keep one. Maybe I'll keep both. Trying this on, I'm like, it is cute. But I'm like, is the back kind of like young again? Like, are we over the back? Um, I don't know. It's a nice piece to have for like summertime, throwing over your bathing suit. Like if you're going to the beach, I feel like it's like cute for a little over layer. But um, you really can't like wear this, I guess, in the in the um, winter or the fall, it's more of a summer piece. So I don't know, let's try on the other flannel. Maybe she'll be better. Here is the blue and red free people flannel. Um, when did I get this? Probably like three years ago. So we've had it for quite some time and it is cute. I feel like it's flattering. It fits like a little bit oversized and I like it, but I'm not sure if, what, what do you guys think? <laughs> I can't decide. I think I like this one more than the other one. So if we are gonna keep one, I'm thinking this one, but let me know what you guys think. I feel like this is a good basic piece. Like it's warm. I could reincorporate it into my wardrobe and wear it a little bit more. Just haven't been into flannels that much lately, but I feel like I'm not ready to say goodbye to it. This is a little bit of a scandalous dress. I haven't worn this in so long. The only thing about this dress is like, how are you supposed to wear a bra with something like this? If I didn't wear a bra, I think I would have a little bit of a spillage. And um, also this dress is pretty short. It's kind of like on the verge of too short for me. If it was like one inch longer, I'd be like perfect length. But the little sparkly part is kind of cute. Um, but I've had this and I've held on to it for like, I don't know, like a, not like a clubbing night, but like a going out and dancing night. Because sometimes I go out and I occasionally <laughs> do that. But I haven't worn this <laughs> in like two years. And I literally think I've worn it once. If I could adjust this and make this part go up like this, maybe then it would be better, but I feel like I'm gonna have a boob fall out if I wear this. So the back is kind of cute though. Like, look at that. I feel like that's kind of cute. I don't know. <laughs> um, if you guys like this, tell me. Maybe I could get, I could probably easily get it like adjusted, but once again, it's pretty short. My head is almost a little cut off because I wanted to be able to show you this full length dress. I have not worn this since Christmas 2018. And honestly, that might've been the only time I wore it. This dress has gotten bigger on me, which I mean, I'm not mad, honey. I guess I've lost a little bit of weight or maybe it just fits different. Um, but look, like looking at this now, what the hell is that? Oh, that's just some fluff. It's just some fluff from the dryer. Nothing to worry about. Um, looking at this dress now, I'm like, she's not flattering. Like she used to be more form fitting. This is canceled. I'm glad I tried that on to let me know that this is not fit on me anymore but i think this definitely could look really good on somebody um and she will be she'll be on the pop okay you guys i'm going to resume more of this video tomorrow because it's getting a little dark now i've already been filming for several hours and i went through my whole closet so i wanted to let you guys know that i have 31 things that i just counted that were that i'm leaning towards no's or that i've already decided are no's i am going to check in with you guys tomorrow for the rest of the clothes but we've already done a ton so 
I'll see you then. It is another day now and we are going to tackle this closet, which honestly does not have that much in it, but here we go. Well, this closet, like I said, has some more summery pieces that I haven't been reaching for lately at all because, like I said, they're just out of season. And then I have some extra hangers over on this side. I have a bag on this side. It's kind of random that this is in here. It probably should be where my other bags are. And then, like, one pair of shoes. And then I keep suitcases at the top. I think I'm just going to start here with some of these, like, bottoms. And then it goes into um, dresses and, like, jumpsuits that are all summery, so I think I'm just going to get in there. I mostly found a lot of dresses it seems like and I am kind of sure on some of these decisions this I'm going to get rid of this one I want to try on because I want to see what you guys's opinion is I feel like it looks better on than on the hanger most things do um this dress is just kind of like seen its last both of the armpits have really really large holes and the stitching is just kind of bad and i've also well i don't know i guess that set kind of stuff could be fixed it's this like long mesh dress but it's pretty hard to find things to wear with and i just kind of feel like i have worn it at several festivals and i don't really like wear it that often so i think i'm gonna part with that these next two dresses i'm gonna part with both of them i have worn this one a ton it's a really cute blue dress from the brand wild honey which is from dolls kill it's honestly a really cute summer dress but um i just have worn it in like several photos and just worn the life out of it i feel like same with this piece which is this it's not buttoned up but picture it buttoned up it's just this like star and moon print dress that actually shrunk in the wash and is basically like a shirt now and the back is like this lace up i have i feel like just worn that a lot now this is something i'm really indecisive about you guys have probably seen this on me i always wear this like unif melt dress a unique fun festival and show piece i love how i say that about like everything but this really is one of those like trippy cool pieces that i feel like is very unique and i, I really don't think i could like find this again if i got rid of it but at the same time i think i've had this since 2015 and i've worn it in so many photos i've worn it to like so many festivals probably every person has seen me wearing this at some point so that makes me be like maybe i've just worn it too much so then i have this kimono with fringe and i definitely think i'm going to be parting ways with this just because i don't wear it often at all and it's kind of hard to wear but it is really fun with like all the fringe at the bottom and it's really comfortable too um, so look out for that look out obviously for all of this stuff if you are interested in any of it And then lastly is this printed maxi skirt. You can't really see the full thing But I I have known for a while like I see this in my closet and I just never really wear it So I've kind of known that I've needed to part with this even though I think it is really pretty I am set on my decision there. So a lot of that stuff was kind of an easy decision So I only have two things to try on for you guys from this closet and then that will probably be the end of this video because it's been pretty long All right, it's always kind of hard to find a bra to wear under this Usually I would just go for something nude, but I just put on a quick little one under it So just ignore the bra. This is the melt dress. I I really don't know i want to keep it just because it's cool so i think i probably am gonna lean towards keeping it just because it's like such a fun piece i would be sad to give it up but it does feel pretty like young and also something that i've worn so many times that i still i still love it but i think i love it because of all the memories attached to it and not necessarily because i'm not obsessed with it anymore just because i've like worn it at so many fun events but i think at some point maybe in the next like year or two i will part with it and be more 
content with my decision. Oh, I know this is a really weird camera angle <laughs> and the lighting is weird and you can't see the entire dress, but I already have decided that I want to keep this. I just looked at it in the mirror and I was like, it's a lot cuter than I remember. I know once again, it probably in this angle doesn't look that great, but I did just get this in like August from Urban Outfitters. It's kind of unlike anything that I really own. So I am going to keep this one as well. So I guess it was a little bit pointless to try on both of those dresses because I am going to keep them both and I didn't even really need a vote on it. So that closet was pretty quick to go through as I expected. So I'm parting with six things from this closet and like I told you guys before, about 30, 31 things from the main closet unless there's some crazy voting that changes my mind but about 37 items have been pulled out from my wardrobe which is a ton that's a lot of things so now i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna take pictures and these items and upload them to my depop shop so make sure you check that out it'll be the first link down below in the description box and I am hoping to have everything up by the time this video goes live. So if you guys have still stuck around till the end of this long video, give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. And also, I did not get to everything in my wardrobe in this video. I didn't do shoes or anything that's in my dresser, which is, you know, more chill clothes and bras and undies. And I didn't do like accessories, beanies, and I have a separate coat closet downstairs. So uh, everything else I <laughs> went through, but if you guys wanna see another one of these videos, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it inspired you to go through your wardrobe and donate slash sell what you do not wear or need anymore. It always feels good to do that, at least for me. I don't know, for everyone. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching as always and I will see you very soon in another video.